Hi, Franklin. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Very Excellent. good. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. Franklin, I have a question for you. Yes. How, how are you doing on the platform? Um, um, two point uh, ten. Two point ten. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Yeah. Because we need to um get to work on that. All right. Very good. But that's good. Thank you, Franklin, for working on that. Hi, Exa. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. With <laughs> with a little. Sueño, dream. Like you're you're sleepy. You're, <laughs> you're asleep, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's hard. But it's not raining here today. Is it raining by your house? No. Right. Wow, well, I can see a little sun. All right, yeah, it's a little bit um, you know, some patch of blue skies right here, but we'll see what happens later on. Yeah. All right. When it rains, it's even harder to wake up, right? Because it's all cloudy. <laughs> yeah. You just don't want to get up out of bed. Very good. That's fine. Thank you. Hi, Liana. Hi, Joanna. Carla, Joanna. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Ili, I'm happy because yeah, it's not raining. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's a plus. Very good. Claudita, um, Iliana, I'm sorry. Uh, which do you remember where are you on the platform? And the section three. Uh -huh. Okay, section three. All right. Uh, Exa, the same, right? You finished section three, I think. Exa. Yes, uh, I start uh, section four. Okay, perfect. Very good. What about Sophia? Sophia, do you remember where are you on the platform? I think in section three. Okay, very good. All right. And uh, Carla, Joanna, what about in your case? Hello, good morning. Good morning, Carlita. I think that uh, I work in the second section. All right, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm asking you because uh, you guys are supposed to be finishing section three, all right? So in case you are like a, a little bit behind that, then I would actually need you guys to work on it, all right? Because I was checking yesterday uh, some of the reports and some of you were not like um, actually haven't done anything, right? So I really need you guys to get to work on that. Most of you have worked on it, which is very good. So thank you for that. But in case you're falling behind, just try, I know you're busy and everything, but try to catch up a little bit, all right? All right, very good guys. So thank you for being with me another morning. We're about to start. Today we're gonna begin section four, all right? So uh, we're gonna, work on section four today and tomorrow and then monday all right and tuesday and the rest of the week we will finish section five so we're right on time okay so today i'm going to show you the video that is well not the video i just want to show you the image so we can start working from there and then i'll take you i'll walk you through the rest of the uh, exercises i want to work with you guys this morning so let me let me just go get these here please All right, so this is like the first thing we're gonna see. Hold on. All right, there, right there. Okay, so here we have it. It's this one. This is 4.1, all right, uh, on the platform. So this is on the platform. In case you have not seen it, you're gonna see it right now. It's not that we're gonna play it. I'm just gonna go um, walk you through it, all right? So here we're talking about feelings and gestures, all right? Uh, the name of the section is, that's what it means, I believe it is, all right? So sometimes we make facial expressions, all right? Like, we're like, oh, all right, so we understand that that's surprising, all right? Or if you're just smiling or laughing to yourself, you're thinking, hmm, what are they talking about, right? So whatever you see on someone's expression, then you kind of think about what they want to mean by it, all right? So here we have some of them. So if you notice number one, let's see, Exa, can you read number one for me here? 
He's biting his nails. He's biting his nails. Very good. He's biting his nails. Iliana, can you do number two? He's rolling his eyes. Very good. Number three, Franklin. Franklin? He's scratching his hair. Excellent. Very good. Carla, please, number four. Yeah. He's tapping his foot. He's tapping his foot. Very good. Sophia, next one, five. Uh, he's twirling his hair. Very good. And Veronica, what about the last one, number six? He's uh, writing his nose. Oh, all right, very good. Okay, so number one, he's biting his nails, all right? So he's like biting his nails. These are the nails and he's biting them. Biting is the verb that right there. Rolling his eyes, scratching his head, tapping his foot is like when you do this. You're tapping, all right? You can tap your fingers or you can tap your foot on the floor, all right? Very good. Twirling his hair, he's doing this. Like if you do this, that's twirling, all right? You're moving it around, okay? And he's wrinkling his nose, like going like this, and you do this to your nose, all right? Or your forehead, it wrinkles, all right? Very good. Now, these um, gestures, all right, because these are movements that we do, sometimes they happen in a, in a certain um situation all right let's see Ileana when you're really nervous what do you usually do do you bite your nails do you roll your eyes do you twirl your hair do you sweat what happens to you when you're nervous Ileana uh, I usually biting biting his, my na my nail you usually bite your nails really yeah oh my goodness <laughs> all right very good Franklin what about you when you're really nervous like what um gesture do you do what movements do you do um it, the type move uh-huh um it, the action yeah well, what do you do when you're nervous some people just freeze when they are nervous what happens to you when you're nervous or nothing in particular? I nothing in particular. Okay, all right, that's no. fine. Okay, Carla, what about you? When you're really nervous, do you do anything or nothing? I mean, you're just like there. I tap you in my foot. Oh, you tap your foot on the floor? Yes. All um, right. And rolling, no, excuse me, and beating. And you bite I, your nails? No, I scratch in my head. Oh, you scratch your head. All right. Okay, I see. Very good. What about you, Exa? When you're really, like really nervous or really anxious, what do you do? I scratch my head, my hand, my, <laughs> or my finger, my toe. All right. And my feet. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you do a lot of things. Very good. Araceli, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. When you're really nervous, Araceli, what do you do? Do you do anything special with your body, like body language, any gestures? Um, I don't know is is in the picture, but uh -huh. uh, maybe <laughs> Me en la dedo, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, you do this, you crack your knuckle, your nickel, knuckles, knuckles. All right, oh, okay, you do like your cracking bell. Oh, cracking, cracking. You, you crack it, crack. Okay. All right, oh, I see, interesting, very good. All right, let's see, what about when you guys are, I don't know, do you do anything special? Do you have like any gestures when you are, I don't know, when you're angry, what do you do when you're angry? Do you frown? Do you go like this? You frown? Your forehead frowns? Or what do you guys do? Anybody? I usually cry. You usually cry when you're angry, Liana? Oh, yes. no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. 
Okay, someone was, someone else was gonna say something. What do you guys do when you're really angry? Teacher, how do you say eh, como eh, cerrar la boca o apuñar los labios? Mm, you go like this? Yes. Uh, yeah, you sh like, I don't know, you just shut your mouth, but it's like, mm, you press your lips? Yes. Like that? All right, yeah, okay, very good, all right. Exa, what, what do you do when you're super angry? I don't know. It, de <laughs> it, it depends <laughs> the situation. Okay. Is if I'm angry with someone, mm -hmm. I try to call myself. Okay, to because, calm yourself. Well, I, I I try to to don't do something that I, will, I, you, I don't. You will regret later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what if you're angry at yourself for something that happened, but you're angry not to someone else, but to you? Mm, normally, nothing. Okay. I, I stay in the same place and okay. just think, think another. All right, okay, very good. All right, anybody else? What do you guys do when you're super angry? All right, ah, Francisco is here and Sina is here. Very good. Gabby, what happens to you when you're angry, Gabby? Do you make any gestures? Um, I don't know, maybe. Crying? You cry? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, just like Ileana. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, very good. Fair enough. All right, very good. So, um, depending on the situation, that's how we react. All right, and our bodies react also. All right. So here we have some things that some people do. Not everybody. All right. So, for example, like we like we were saying, some people they bite their nails when they are nervous, when they are annoyed, when they are bored, all right? Or when they're confused, they're like, mm, thinking, all right? They roll their eyes. When do you think people roll their eyes? Like, going, oh, whatever. When do you think they roll their eyes? When do people roll their eyes? Any ideas when people might roll their eyes? When someone is annoyed? All right. Bye bored annoyed also mm -hmm. all right very good all right where in which other situations do people scratch their heads some people do when they're nervous but in which other situations do you think they uh, might scratch their heads hard work all right yeah maybe all right what about frustrated do you scratch your like oh my god they don't understand or he doesn't understand or she doesn't get it do people scratch their heads when they are frustrated you think some people will might? Yeah. Yes. All yes. Right. Very good. All right. Then we have tapping your foot or tapping his foot. Some people just kind of like go like this, right? Like mm, maybe when they're impatient too, they're waiting for someone. All right. And then become, they become impatient or they're waiting for some like explanation. Huh? Tell me I'm thinking, right? So it depends. What about twirl uh, their hair, like going out, like play with the hair. In which other situations do people do that? Any ideas in which other situations do people do that? Throw their hair? Maybe when, maybe when someone is talking. Okay. With, okay. All right, okay. Talking uh, with someone. <laughs> yeah, talking with someone else. All right, very good. And then wrinkle, wrinkling their nose. You're like, mm, all right, and you do this frowning thing on your nose. You wrinkle your nose, all right? So here we have some verbs, guys. I mean, these are verbs. Bite, roll, scratch, tap, twirl, and wrinkle, all right? Those are like, I wrinkle my nose. He wrinkles his nose, all right? So those are verbs that can help you. Um, have more vocabulary in case you didn't know. Did you know all these verbs that we're talking about here? Did you know biting, rolling, scratching, tapping, twir twirling, and wrinkling? Did you know them? 
Some no. of them? All right, okay, so now you know, right? So bite your nails, okay. It's not beat, it's bite, all right? Very good, and then it's wrinkle, wrinkling, Teacher? yes? Uh, I, I don't know what is a scratching. A scratching is, is uh-huh. Um, it just, uh, just touch. No, this is touch, but if I do this, I'm scratching um, my head, like scratch. And Charlene is, is um, ah, okay. Like moving, like if I yes. look up, like if I do this with my hair, I uh, twirl, all right? Yes, all right, that's When twirl. I uh, curly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, okay. when you like do colochitos, all right? Very Thanks. good, yeah, that's twirling, very good. And then you have, here we have feelings, all right? Oh, what about number one, Ileana, can you read the first column here, these two? <laughs> okay. Annoyed yes. and bored. He wants to learn English. All right, very good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very good. Annoyed and bored. Very good. Then we have here um Veronica, can you read these two, please? Confused. Uh-huh. Uh disgusted. Disgusted. Very good. Disgusted. Nice. Very good. Senia, can you read these two, please? Embarrassing, uh -huh. exhausted. All right, very good. Francisco, can you read these two, Francisco? Maybe he's not around. All right, someone to read this one for me. Sofia or Carlita, Joanna? Frustrated. Uh -huh. Very good. And the last two, Gabby, do you want to read those or Sofia? Okay. Erated. Uh -huh. Nervous. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, so here we're going to go over the pronunciation of them. Annoyed is the first one. Bored. If you notice, guys, pay attention to this. All right, these are feelings. All right, but they're like adjectives. How do you feel? I feel annoyed. How do you feel? I feel exhausted. These are past participle adjectives. Remember the past participle adjectives we were talking about? Look at them, all of except nervous and impatient, but all of them. The rest of them, they finish with ED, all right? Okay, so annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, and nervous, all right? Check the understanding. Do you guys understand the meaning of all these um, feelings? Do you know what they mean? Annoyed. Yeah, annoyed is like desesperado. Like you're I'm like, oh, I'm so like irritado. Like I'm so annoyed. Uh, I don't want to be here. I feel like, ah, uh, wakala. <laughs> you're annoyed. All right. Do you, uh huh. Anybody else with any other of the feelings that we have here? What is bottle? Bottle. Bored? Ah, aburrido. Bored. This one right here. Yes, bored. Okay. Any of the other ones, guys? Very good. Thank you, Frankie. Any any of the other ones? No. All right. Very good. Okay. You know what disgusted is? Disgustado? No. Mm. It's not disgusted. It sounds like it, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what what is? About, yeah, all right, very good. Do you, uh, anybody else, do you know what disgusted is? No. Ah, disgusted is when you feel yucky. Like, for example, you see something that is gross, that is grotesque, and you feel disgusted. You feel like vomiting. You feel like, oh, like, oh my God, all right? Like if you see, I don't know, some people get disgusted when I don't know, children vomit, for example, or when there's a lot of garbage uh, outside someplace and it's very stinky, all right? So you feel disgusted. You feel like, hey, gross, wakala, all right? Like the feeling is like not nice, all right? So that's disgusted. It's disgusting. It's like asqueroso, all right? Mm -hmm. Any other one? I think the rest were okay with it. Okay. Okay. 
All right, very good. We're not gonna go, I'm not gonna take you right now to any of the uh, groups right now. What I want you to do is I want you to choose, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. We have 10 feelings. What I want you to do is I want you to make sentences right here. I'm gonna give you like two minutes, all right? And you can choose three or two, actually two. Just choose two out of these 10, choose these two feelings. And for example, you, I want you to join the feeling with the gesture, all right? So you can say, when I am nervous, I uh, tap my fingers, all right? So you're using the feeling with the action, with the gesture. Or when I, fra when I'm fra when I feel frustrated, I, I don't know, I bite my nails, all right? Can you do that? We're not gonna go anywhere, we're gonna stay here. Choose two feelings and then combine them with the gestures that we have at the top, okay? Can we do that? Let me know when you're finished so we can check them. Okay. Finished, guys? Were you able to come up with sentences? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, very good. Let me hear you some of the sentences, please. When I'm frustrated, I'm crying and I'm tapping my foot. When you're frustrated, you tap your, okay, and you uh, say it again, uh, Carlita, please, when you're frustrated. When I'm frustrated, I'm crying and tap, tapping my Food. Okay, so when I'm frustrated, I cry and I tap my foot. Is that what you want to say? Okay, when I confuse, I mm -hmm. roll my eyes. Oh, you roll your eyes. Very good. All right. When you when I'm confused, I roll my eyes. Very good. All right. Thank you. Someone else. I want to hear your sentences, guys. Please, Idiana. When, when I'm impatient, tapping my foot. Okay. All right. Any other? Only one sentence. Um, teacher. Yes, Carlita, Beatriz. Uh, when I am frustrated, mm -hmm. I scratch my head. Oh, when you're frustrated, <laughs> you scratch your head. Yeah, very good. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> All right, very good. I see that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. You're like, oh. All right, very good. Any other? Thank you. When I am impatient, uh -huh. I... When you're impatient, Sophia? I talk my food. Oh, all right. Okay, you tap. <laughs> Very good. All right. Someone else. I am bored to see romantic moves. And <laughs> oh, come on, Franklin. All right. So what do you do? You roll your eyes. You fall asleep. What happens to you when you're bored? <laughs> um. Eyes. Mm -hmm. You roll your eyes. All right, very good. Okay, thank you. Someone else? 
Araceli, Gabi, yeah, please. Um, Gabby, yes. When I feeling frustrated, frustrated, I I am scratching my head. All right. Yes. Very good. That's a common feeling. I think a lot of people we do that. <laughs> very good. Yes. Araceli, anybody else? Blanquita, Exa. When I frustrate, I beating biting my nails. You bite your nails. Yeah, you're biting your nails. Very good. When you're frustrated. Very good. Anything else? Anybody else? What about Francisco? We have Araceli. We have, I don't know, I think some other people. I am impatient. Uh, impatient. Impatient. Uh, impatient. Sorry. Uh, okay. I stand in line at the bank. Uh, no. Um, Me too. <laughs> yeah, I am tapping his foot. You're tapping your foot, right? You're like, yeah, when, right? Yesterday I had to go to the bank and I spent two hours online. So it was like, uh, see. yeah, I was like tapping my everything. I was scratching my head and just rolling my eyes and just wanted to leave, but I couldn't. All right, very good. Anybody else? One more? Hey, me? Yes, Araceli. <laughs> when I annoy it, uh -huh. I tapping my foot. You tap your foot when you're annoyed. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's just, um, I'm sorry. I'm going to go over this again, just for you guys to like, remember the pronunciation. Be careful with the ED endings. Okay. The ED endings are tricky because we mispronounce them. All right. So it's annoyed. It's bored. Do the D sound. All right. Do you remember the, I think the first week I sent you the a green chart. All right, where do you have the pronunciations for the ED endings? That will help you. If you memorize that chart, it's going to help you do this. All right, confused with a t sound, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritated, and nervous. All right, that's the pronunciation that you need to work with. Okay. But if you memorize that chart, then it's going to be easier for you to do this. All right. Very good. Okay. So I just wanted to go over this because we have some feelings and some gestures that I wanted to talk about because they are part of your uh, unit or section four. Now, there is a conversation after that. I think it would be 4.3. We're not going to do the conversation because you can do that like on your own. But I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna see this right now. Just give me, let me get it for you before we do anything else. This is the other thing I want you guys to see so we can study it here, all right? So we have this. This is 4.5 on the platform and we have models and adverbs of possibility, all right? So here, this is the chart that is on the platform, all right? And we are talking about four model verbs. We're talking about might, we're talking about may, we're talking about could, and we're talking about must, okay? If you notice just how it says here on the chart, if they, these model verbs, they go from a slight possibility to strong possibility. Do you know what slight means? Do you know what slight possibility means? Yeah, like little, like tiny, like few, all right? Like like this, we need to think anything, right? So slight possibility all the way to strong possibility. So that means when you don't know something for sure, all right, you may use might or you may use may, all right? When you feel the possibility is like very, like, you know, almost like, like in the middle, all right, of the possibility, then you say could, all right? When you are certain about the possibility, then you use must, all right? So you, we, we go from the top, might and may, then we go on the center, let's say the middle, it would be could, and then we go down and it's must because it's the strongest possibility, all right? We're talking about um, model verbs of possibility here, not about permission, not about ability, all right, they are the same, some of them are the same, but in this context, we're using them as possibilities, all right? So if you notice, we have model, in, uh, model verbs here, and then we have adverbs. 
and they are the same. The meaning is the same, but they change a little bit. We say maybe, we say perhaps, if we don't know. Maybe and perhaps is like slight like possibility. Possibly or probably, they go in the middle just like could. And definitely is like must. So sometimes you may use, when you're talking about possibility, then you can use either model verbs or you can use adverbs and it's okay as long as you know which one to use according to the possibility of the situation all right i can say right now it could rain later all right it's like a half possibility because it's cloudy but yet it's sunny at moments of the day at least in my house so i'm not so certain yesterday that it was like very cloudy very very cloudy i could have said it must rain today all right the possibility was very strong it was like almost a hundred i mean we can say it was a hundred percent okay do you understand what i'm talking about here guys does it make sense to you yeah all right, so here we're using model verbs and we're using adverbs. They mean the same, as in like possibility-wise, they go from a slight to strong possibility, okay? Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show you the rest of this because uh, you can actually see it later, but what I wanna show you is the one I have for you here as the presentation I always use for you, and it's this one, all right? So we have, uh, we say model verbs for possibility, which are the same. Teacher, Remember? will you send the, the, the presentation? Yes, for sure. Ah, okay, yeah, thanks. Yes. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so here we have model verbs of possibility. Gabi, do you mind reading these for me, please? Okay, model verbs for possibility. Mm, there are several model verbs used to show possibilities. Mm -hmm. They are my, may, cool and must model verbs of probability probability probability, probability uh -huh. use when we want to make a guess about something we choose the verb depending on how sure we are thank you gabby very good so here the, these model verbs of possibility or probability they are the same ones that we have up in the platform might, may, could, and must, all right? So these ones, they express possibility. When are we gonna use them? We can choose them depending on how sure we are of something, all right? So if you're not so sure, you say might and may. If you are like halfway sure, you can use could. If you are certain, then you must use must, all right? So it will depend on how sure you are on something happening, okay? And we're gonna see this here. Uh, someone else to read the structure for me, model verbs of possibility. Okay, model verbs of, for possibilities. Mm -hmm. A structure, model verb plus base verb, may, my, could, must, plus base verb, for example. It may rain, this evening she might work late tonight could this really be true thank you all right Th okay so this is thank you Carlita. so this is how the structure and this is very important guys here all right you need to remember that when you when we use any model verb it doesn't matter if it's for, for possibility for ability for permission it doesn't matter whenever we use a model verb the, we use the base, the verb on the base form, all right? We cannot conjugate it as in like third person singular, for example. You cannot say she might works late tonight. You can't do that with any of the model verbs, all right? Model verbs, they have their own rules. And it doesn't matter if in this case, we're talking about possibility model verbs, it doesn't matter. We need to remember that we need to use the base uh, verb after them. It doesn't matter which one. You can use may, might, could, or must, plus the base verb. That means no change in for any of the verbs here, all right? It doesn't matter if you're talking about he. It doesn't matter if you're talking about she. What matters is that you need to remember that after a model verb, you need to use the verb on its base form, always. 
okay? And just like Carlita was reading, we say it may rain. We don't say it may rains, all right? That's not properly speaking. She might work late tonight. We don't say she might works late tonight. The third, uh, the S for the third person singular affirmative sentence doesn't apply for this one. Why? Because we're using a modal verb here. If you wanna ask a question, you say, could this really be true? Could this be happening? Could you, I don't know, uh, could you have this done by tomorrow? That's a possibility, all right? So you use these ones and this is the way to use them. All right, model verb for possibilities. Someone else to read this for me. May. May show possibility in the present or the future. Um, a choice to act or not, or a promise of possibility of a possibility. Possibility, yes. Uh huh. Um, a present. We are my case. They may uh, they may uh, be in the car. Future. I may go to the party in tonight. Very good. Thank you. All right. So here we're talking about may. I'm going to walk you through every model verb of possibility. May. It says the may shows possibility in the present or the future, depending how you use it. All right. So you can use it in the present tense or the present uh, structure way, or you can use it on the future one. And then you have also the choice to act or not, or a promise of a possibility. Present example, where are my keys? You're like, oh no, I'm looking for your keys. Where are they? And then someone says, Jessica, they may be in the car. All right, especially because I always leave my car and my keys in the car. All right, they may be there. Now, the possibility is a slight, all right? It's not very strong in the, in the present tense in this case. Future, I may go to the party tonight. Tonight is like right now is the morning. Tonight is not right now. So tonight is the near future. So if you notice, we can use may for future situations, but it is expressing a possibility. Now, if I tell you, for example, I may go to the party tonight, what is the possibility? Is it strong or is it a slight possibility that I go to the party tonight? What do you guys think? Slight. Yeah, slight, all right. So you're saying, oh, come on, Jessica, let's go, all right? Because I say I may go. So maybe if you want to look at a percentage, I'm saying maybe at 25%, I will go. All right, and you're saying, oh, come on, go with me, right? I'm saying, I may go, all right? So even your gesture, you say, I may go, right? So I'm indicating that I don't really wanna go, all right, or that I can't go, all right? So that's also depending on the whole context of it, okay? Let's go on with the next one, might. Someone else to read might for me. Someone to read might? Thank you. Me? Might. Yes. I think go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you can read the next one, Araceli. Thank you. All right, Carlita. Mm -hmm. Might show possibility in the present or future. Might is the form that may and is more common in conversation. Present. Where are my keys? Uh, they might be in the car. In future, the electrician might be finished by tomorrow. Excellent, thank you, Carlita. All right, okay, again, thank you. Remember that on the, on the uh, platform, we have may and might the same, all right? So if you're asking me, so which one is a slightest possibility, may or might, they are the same. The difference is, the formality of one and the informality of the other one, all right? May is a little bit more formal than might, okay? So it about possibility is the same, may and might, but of formality, 
may is more formal and might is a little bit less formal. It's not a big difference, but it's good for you to know that, all right? So might is less formal than may and it's more common in conversations, all right? When you're talking to your friends, we usually use might a lot more than may, all right? So it depends who you're talking to, depends on the context, depends on the possibility, depends if you're talking about present or future, all right? If you notice, it's the same thing as may. And the example, just like as Carlita read it, it says, where are my keys? And you say, they might be in the car, all right? Or the, in the future situation, you say the electrician might be finished by tomorrow, all right? So here again, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the possibility is a slight and you can change it. I mean, you can use it either present or future, but it is a little bit less formal. So we use this very commonly in English, more than may, all right? But it depends on the situation. Araceli, this one please, model verb of possibility could. Okay. Could um, could shows that something is possible in the present or future. Present. Where are my keys? They could be in the car. Future. You could go to the high dressers tomorrow. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Again. All right, this one, you can use it in the present or the future, all right? The possibility is a little bit more than may and might, all right? So here, it depends on how sure you are of something. All right, so you say, where are my keys? They could be in the car, oh, okay, all right? Or you say, you could go to the hairdresser tomorrow if it doesn't rain, all right? Otherwise, your hair is gonna be beautiful, but five minutes later, it's gonna be a mess because it's gonna be wet. All right, so you could go if it doesn't rain. All right, next one. Models of possibility uh, here. Hold on. I just want to show you the one. Oh no. May not. Hold on. I just wanted to show you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so past possibilities. So here we have, we like, we were talking about present and future possibilities. And then here we can also use them for past possibilities. All right, so can someone read this one for me? Okay, uh, model verb for, for possibility. Past possibility uh, may, my, my, may, my, my, and could are all used to show possibility in the model verb plus how plus past participle. Example, he might have brewed the cake. She may have gone home early. They could have worked late. Thank you. All right, here. These guys, this right here is another topic, but they are still using made, might, I mean, may, might, and could for possibilities. But in this case, they are using it in the past, all right? And it goes a little bit off from what we, we, what we have on the platform, but this is, you're actually gonna see this, I believe. So it's good for you to know this, okay? So if here, if you notice, we're using the same ones again, might, may, and could but the structure is different. Why? Because they're being used for the past possibilities in a way, all right? So we're using the past participle here. So don't worry about this ones right now. These, the other ones here are the ones that we need to concentrate on, okay? Let me just show you something here. Let's see, um, what time is it? Yeah, I think we have time. All right, here, can you, which is me check something here. All right, can you take a picture of this, guys, please? Yes. All right, yes. and you can take a picture of this. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to work on the exercises here. Here, if you notice, they're using, they're also using can. All right, but can is just like the, the possibility is very, is slight also. The one that gives you like the 100% certainty is must. All right, and this is the same. I must, I don't know, uh, pass the, 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 the course, all right? The possibility is very, very strong. But right now we're just concentrating on the other ones. 
here you can do this one and the, the other one right here that you're using might could or may and then just kind of finish it up here all right all right thank you i'm gonna send you to your groups right now oops there we go Uh -huh. ¿Qué están diciendo? ¿Qué le están pidiendo? Vamos a ver. Ahorita lo que... Hi. Hello. Ok, de Modal Verb Possibility. Eh, number one. I go to the party, but I'm not sure yet. Eh, um, in this case, uh, um, I think you can. I can go to the party, but I'm not sure. Hello, uh, for me, I might go to the party, but I'm not sure yet. Teacher, are you there? I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're doing number one. Are you doing, hold on, I'm lost here for a second. Are you do the, doing this one? Uh, yes. Number one, this is the one you're doing. Yes. I right. say can and uh -huh. like say might. Yeah, I would go with might because of what it's saying at the end, I'm not sure yet. Can uh -huh. is a little bit more than may and might. Ah, okay. All right. so the, sure that might. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, the possibility okay. is a little bit more of happening. But because it says, I'm not sure yet, I would go with might. Okay. All right. Oh, bravo, Branquita. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, the second. You smoke on the bus. Uh, you couldn't smoke on the bus. And because do you know, yes. do you can you could <laughs> uh, number three I can find my watch anywhere I have lost it mm, I may I oh, my may let me see my read the context of it and then you will the context will tell you the possibility <laughs> yes i can't 
find my um, watch anywhere. I can find my watch anyway. I may have lost it. For you, may? I could no could because I because the first word it can. Yeah. Remember yeah. that if you you are saying I can find it, is that you look for it. All right. So you are uh -huh. you cannot see it. You cannot find it. And between could, may, and might, the possibility of having lost it is could. It's a stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, it's more, yeah. all right, it's more than may and might. So, si okay. no lo pueden encontrar en ningún lado es porque probablemente lo perdí. So, I could have lost Ooh. it. Have lost the possibility it. of could is greater than may and might. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, I could. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, I can hear some music coming from that window. He, he can or might be at home. He can be at home. For me, it's can. And for you, Blanca? I can hear some music coming. He can be at home. Right, yeah. yeah. And you know, in this, in this, for example, sorry, number four, that is like, um, that is the post, I mean, the context, it's telling you something here. But remember that, as I said, between may, might, and can, the possibility is tiny, all right? The difference is tiny between those three, all right? So you can, you, it makes sense if you say he can be at home mm -hmm. or he, may, he might be at home, might. all right? Yeah, so we can go with can because of they're using it, can here. You can hear it because he can be home, right? So it makes sense to use can and can, that would be okay. 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 Number five. He it's... doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Number five <laughs> doesn't have a choice. You can put it. You can put it in. No, that's, that's okay. It's rain this evening. Uh, for the Yota. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's cool. It could rain this evening. Yeah. But but I think the Yota is gone. I think so. That's what I was listening to, right? Finally. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, in this case, is it? It may. Yeah. If if it if, might rain in this evening. Mm -hmm. Because if they are say, if we're taking this situation of El Salvador and they say Yota has gone. So we may mm. say it may rain this evening, all right? Or maybe mm. not anymore because Yota is leaving. Bye bye, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Number six. Mm -hmm. He can cool be French. Judging be his accent. Mm. Judging. Judging. Well, just, uh, Judging uh, is juzgando por su acento. Judging. Uh, mm -hmm. Judging his accent. Uh, it can be French. Yeah, um, you can say he can be French, judging by his accent, or he could be French, judging by, by his accent. Very good. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Then... The other. The other picture uh, is Mina. This one? Min uh, yes. Yes. Help. My wood or may. Okay, Nankita. My wood or may using this uh, sentence. Uh, one. John and Amy get a new Kitchen. kitchen. A kitten. Kitten. Mm -hmm. Kitten. Kitten is the cat. Yeah, a baby cat. A baby kitten. cat. Ah, kitten. <laughs> kitten. Mm -hmm. A kitten, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, John and, and Amy. Who get a new kitten? 
my get a new kitten. Uh -huh. It's cool. Number two. In that I... one, is it will depend on how certain you are about if they're getting a new kitten or not, right? So Jonah and Amy might get a new kitten. Jonah and Amy could get a new kitten. All right, both make sense. Because if there's nothing telling you exactly which one to use better, all right? So maybe the possibility, maybe it's light or a little bit stronger and then you can use could. Okay. In this case, every, everyone, Bo anyone. Both, both make sense. Both. All okay. right. Even may, but may is less, um, is a little bit more formal. I mean, in this mm -hmm. situation, it's might would be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, number two, um, I study Japanese next year. Mm -hmm. Hi. I could I, study. No, I <laughs> might. I <laughs> might. I might. Yes, because... <laughs> you speak two languages. You speak English and Spanish. Come on, girls. <laughs> On the three languages, I... I feel crazy. I know. You think? I, <laughs> the, the only uh, near the Japanese mm -hmm. is the Korean because mm -hmm. I I watch uh, dramas. In oh, the all right. <laughs> and you like them, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I like the dramas. Okay, this is my my story. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, girls, I'm going to stop right now because we need to go back. It's time to go and I need to take attendance, okay? Okay, yes. Thank, thank you. you. We're, we can finish tomorrow anyway. We'll have time to finish tomorrow. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank Bye, you. All right, hello guys, welcome back. I'm gonna take attendance right now because you need to go. We're gonna check the exercises tomorrow anyway, all right? So in case you were not finished, that's okay. We can check all of them tomorrow as we come in. We'll keep on talking about, today we talk about uh, the adverbs. Tomorrow we're, I mean, we talk today about the model verbs. Tomorrow we're gonna talk a little bit about the adverbs and then we can join them together, all right? So I'm gonna take attendance and then tomorrow we can check. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Benito was here. All right. I was managing Yeah. Uh huh. She was here. Present. Thank you. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Eh, Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Benito Present. is here. Benito. Vero, yeah, Veronica is yes. here. Hi, Vero. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Franklin de Jesus Martinez is here. Yes. Yes, thank you. I, uh, yes. Carla Joana Martinez. I'm here. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Senior Elizabeth Mejia. Present. Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Thank you, Sinia. Present. Yes, Juan Carlos Molina Martinez. Claudia Eliana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucia Rosales Guzmán. Karen Lisset Reyes. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. Present. Thank you. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Have a great day. And keep safe if it, if it keeps on raining, all right? Yes, uh, Veronica, thank you. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow and we can check the work tomorrow. Please work on the platform. If you need help, let me know. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.